this is Kevin Gianni from the Renegade Health Show and tonight is going to be an awesome night. I just went to a yoga class with one of my friends, Steve Mackle. And Steve Mackle is from SoCalRunning.com. Now for what I'm going to show you right now, what Steve's going to show you, you don't need to be a runner. What he's going to do is he's going to show you how to get into good posture and so you can actually be injury free while you're walking or running. Walking and running are two of my favorite exercises, so he's going to show you right now. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Mackle with SoCalRunning.com. Big fan of RenegadeHealth.com, one of my favorite sites. So today I'm going to teach you how to actually set up your posture so you can start to learn how to run injury free. This comes from a running paradigm called Chi Running. The book is out there, CHI Running, it comes from Tai Chi. It takes actually the flow of Tai Chi and combines it with the power and energy of running, using gravity to pull you forward rather than using those big muscles that take so much energy. And what does energy take? It takes a lot of power versus just becoming efficient. I want to teach you how to be efficient. But before I can teach you that, I've got to teach you how to get in the proper posture because everything's based on the proper posture. So let's bring that camera down to your feet. You guys, we all start with feet. These are my bumblebee salconies. Few people have these bumblebee salconies. They're awesome shoes. That's because they're black and gold. But the first thing is, is I want them straight because that's the direction I'm going. I don't want my feet going like this, we come down again because my body and mind wants to go the wrong way. Alright, so first thing I do is I put my feet about hip width apart and I put them straight. The next thing I do is I make sure my feet are just all the way on the ground. I feel the balls of my feet, I feel the heel of my foot, I just kind of settle in. Now I try to relax because chi doesn't run through tight muscles, it runs through relaxed muscles. From there we go up and what we want to do is we want to create length in the spine. All right, so what I want you to do is just pull up the back of the head. As you pull up the back of your head, notice the chin stays level. Another way is just to grab the back of the skull and lift it up and you get nice and tall. Now this is great for all of you that tend to slouch, especially those long distance runners when you get to like mile 10 or mile in your half or mile 20 and you're full and you start noticing you're running like this. All you have to do is lengthen. All right, so we're creating length in the spine, nice and tall. Just let your shoulders hang where they are. The next thing we want to do is actually engage the, engage the pelvic floor. So I'm going to tuck in my shirt just to show you what I want you to do. Most of us run with and walk with what's called an anterior pelvic tilt, meaning your pelvis is like a bowl and the water can spill out the front or it can spill out the back. And what we want you to do is just make it nice and neutral creating a nice level pelvis. So if you notice by my waistband here, you can see that I've got a nice level pelvis. In order to do this, I have to have this feeling that I'm pulling in and up from the pelvic floor, your perineum. And that creates actually engagement right here. Okay, and if you just tap right below your belly button, you'll know that it's engaged. There's a difference between tight and engaged. You don't want to be tight. Think of that word, engaged. It's a great word. You get engaged before you tie the knot. <laughs> Alright? There's a good one for marriage. <laughs> Trust me on this. You just want to be engaged. It's being like lightly involved. Not all the way. And it's not that we're all not all the way involved when we run. We're just lightly involved so we can let the energy, the chi, run through us. So here we go. Once again, feet lengthen or lengthen here, making sure my chin is level because if my chin's up, I start going away from gravity, so I keep it nice and level. I level the pelvis. The last thing in the book, it's called Tilting the Statue. And it's in chapter four, and I want to come right down here about where my hip joint is. You'll find your greater trochanter, that bump right out on the edge of your hip. And I can usually find it by taking my thumb to the top of my waistband and just dropping my third finger. And about right there, you'll almost always hit your greater trochanter. So if you just wrap it around in front, Right here is about where your hip socket is. People don't know how low it is in their body. When, I, when people say hips, they think way up here. No, your hip socket is down here. And so right here, I line my feet up. I point them straight. I lengthen. I love them. Last thing is tilting the statue. So tilting from the hip joint, not from the waist. I just let my sternum come forward about a quarter inch. Now if I let my arms dangle, all of a sudden I have perfect alignment. I'm going to take two seconds here off and I'm going to get Kevin in the posture. I'm going to show you what it does. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Kevin here in the posture and then I'm going to do a test so he can see what it feels like to have his bones, ligaments, and tendons all in alignment. And if he does that, then all of a sudden, guess what? The muscles don't have to support the structure. If the muscles don't have to support the structure, that doesn't take additional energy, which is going to make you run longer, which is called efficiency. Today we're working on efficiency. So here's what we do. Kevin, let's work on those feet first. Let's go. 
Okay, look at everybody. His feet are nice and straight. He should have running shoes on. I'm not going to bust him on that. <laughs> we come up. He's going to put his hands in back of his skull, the, that, that little ridge in his skull, and he's going to pull up and get nice and tall. Yeah, he's already tall, so now he's even taller. From there, he's going to level his pelvis, so he's just going to actually just make sure that waistband's nice and level, maybe tuck the tailbone under just a bit. Perfect. The last thing, and it's the hardest, is tilting that statue from that hip joint. He's just going to like, just let the heart come forward about a quarter inch, and I'm going to go to the side and see what it looks like. So this is what we're looking for, everybody, that his shoulders are in line with his hips, are in line with his ankles. And I can't turn the camera sideways because these cameras don't work that way. But you can see even his ears are over his shoulders. This is really nice posture. So I'm going to hand the camera to Kevin. See if I can grab it without getting out of posture. And I'm going to show you. Watch this. I'm going to pull down on it. I can even jump on it. This is the coolest thing. <laughs> and I don't feel it at all. It's just so cool. He can just relax into it and his posture is really nice. The bones, ligaments, and tendons are supporting the structure, not the muscles. Now I'm going to have him hold it again. I'm just going to say let go of the core. Let go of everything. Get out of your posture and I'll pull back and watch what will happen. Here we go. So I'm going to loosen up. All right. And see, he moves all over. I can pull him anywhere that I want to take him. So we have a choice here is that we can be in control or you can be mindless when you're out there running. I like to tell people, you have a choice. You can zone in or you can zone out. Hey, if you're going to run as a running coach, I don't care. I'll take it either way. But I'd rather you zone in because that makes running truly a moving meditation. All right, and I want to thank Steve for doing that because if you are not a runner, this can apply to you too. And the reason why is because if you're in good posture, the same rules apply. You're not using your muscles and you're not causing any sort of undue stress. And that is so important because we are stressed out enough, believe me. So this is Kevin Gianni from the Renegade Health Show and I want to thank Steve Mackle from SoCalRunning.com. Together we can change the health of the world one show at a time.